Hello, welcome to Yoga with Rachel. Rachel, thank you for joining me. Welcome to week three of our equilibrium practice. We're well and truly into a Libra season, I think. Today, let me have a quick look at my calendar. Woo, yes, today, 1st of October, and we are officially into our full moon today in Aries. So we might be feeling a little bit more energy, feeling that a little bit more dynamic. So we're gonna be going straight to standing and working with our hips. So if you practice last week's practice, we were going through those lifts and lowers with the arms. You could do this without the block, but it works quite nice if you're holding like a block or a book or a pillow or a cushion just to keep your awareness. Because sometimes we start to take the arms a bit too wide. So when I thought about going into Libra season and what I wanted to go through for a practice, especially where Libra is represented as the scales, we have that equilibrium, we go into Libra season as we move into the autumn equinox, so it's that, again, equalness. Uh, so I thought I also wanted to incorporate the shoulders and the hips, so we had a little bit of shoulder work last week going into this movement and sometimes that's just enough to warm up the shoulders so we're going to look into how we can move and work with the hips so come straight up to standing if you're not already i know my i'm not in this in here properly but we're working with the legs so that's what we need to be aware of <laughs> oh the joy of being in our home studio but hey it's what we've got to do so find your way up to standing, we want the feet hip width apart. Now you can use a wall for support, you might have your hands on a chair, especially if you're aware of anything going on in the feet, the ankles, the knees or the hips. If you're a bit hypermobile, the stability can help just so we don't collapse into that. Maybe you're going to keep your hands on your hips if that helps to keep your awareness with your stability and your balance. You can will be still work with the belly breath as you exhale, engage as you inhale, relax. We're gonna just start to shift the weight over into one leg, doesn't matter which, and find your knee to belly pose. So you're just gently drawing the knee in towards the belly. Now you might be here, you might be here, you might be higher up. Make sure you're not leaning forward or arching into the back. Lowering down, shifting the weight, changing sides. So just bringing the knee in. We're not grabbing hold of the knee. So the arms are relaxed, you might have hand on a bit of support whether it's the wall or a chair all hands on the hips so from here we're going to go into some hip circles so this would be the equivalent of placing your hands onto your shoulders and drawing like soldier 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 <laughs> shoulder circles or elbow circles you get a lot more movement with the arms because of just how the arm sits in the socket. Obviously your hip, there's not as much movement. So you're not gonna be going into too much movement. You won't be kicking the wall if you've got a wall behind you. But we're gonna move into our knee to belly and just start to draw circles with the hip. And we can go in opposite directions. And releasing, changing sides, bringing the knee in, bringing the leg out and around, changing direction. So I want to know in the comments, if you're practicing your hip circles, do you feel that click or pop or crunch? So as you're doing this movement, knee into the belly, you're circling around, I get to about here and I feel this little crunch or pop let me know in the comments if you do let me know in the comments if you know what it is or watch next week's video and i should tell you why when we work with these hip circles that a lot of the time we get this like weird kind of popping or crunching sound so from here we've been working with knee to belly finding our balance going into those hip circles and now we're going to start to find our tree pose. We might have one more go of some hip circles. Woo, those legs are getting heavy. <laughs> so from here, tree pose. I know you can't. Let me move back so you can see my feet. So we're going to shift the weight into one leg. Have a slight bend in the knee. You're going to lift up so you're on the tip of the toes of your other foot. Not the toes completely, not the ball of the foot. Tip of the toes. Move from your hip 
and get that rotation. You're not turning the leg around, you're opening through the hip. So the knee now points to the side. You can keep the toes on the floor. You might bring the foot by your ankle, up onto the shin, nowhere near your knee. Maybe you're lifting that foot up and placing it where it can comfortably stay onto the thigh. Hands might be relaxed on the hips, they might be up to the ceiling. And changing sides, slowly shift the weight. So you're on the tip of the toes, moving in the hips, you're not turning the body. Foot onto the ankle, the shin, or onto the thigh. So again, nowhere near the knee. Use the support if you need to. You're actively pushing that foot into the, the leg as though it's on the mat. And gently releasing. So we're checking with our tree. We're going to find our way to about the middle of the mat, folding forward. Shift your weight into one leg and see if you can reach the other leg up into your warrior three. You can reach the arms back. Coming back up to standing, changing sides. So feet about hip width apart, folding forward. Shift the weight as you lean forward and reach that leg back. You can use the support of the wall. Some of you might even want to just place your fingertips down onto the mat. So keep your back relatively flat and come back up to standing. Now we're going to move into warrior three again, but have a check in with, with our standing splits pose. So you're folding into your leg and you might be pushing the lifted leg up a little bit higher, just as far as feels comfortable. So there's no forcing. So folding forward, reaching that leg back and up. So remember with our warrior three, we keep the back flat. Leg is roughly in line with the hip or lower. Start to bring the hands down, pushing the hips up. Now we might be here. You might fold forward. Maybe you're holding on to that standing balance of leg with one hand or both hands, lifting that leg up. Oh, if you're wobbling, see what happens. Move into a forward fold. Come up to standing. Let's try it on the other side. Folding forward, shifting and lifting that leg up. Warrior three. If you need to, come out. So honour how you feel with your balance. Bringing the hands down, lifting into that standing split. So lifting that leg maybe a little bit higher, folding a little bit more into the leg. Maybe one hand, maybe both hands holding on to that ankle. Moving into a forward fold. You might have a little bit of a ragdoll. Have that little pause. We're going to be resuming roughly from this forward fold next week for our last week. If you're wanting to continue your practice now, Pop a little video here or here if you want to continue on. If you haven't already, please do click the subscribe button. It just shows your support and unlocks a few new features once I get to a certain level of subscribers. If you're doing this as a full playlist, that one will be playing next if you're waiting until all four of these videos are out. Otherwise, I shall see you next week. Namaste.